In this video, I'm going to show you what it's like to fly from Dubai to London's Heathrow using Emirates Business Class and all the perks with it. So come along. Hi everyone, how's life? And yes, welcome to an Emirates Business Class flight from Dubai all the way to London's Heathrow. I'm currently at Dubai Airport, just inside the Emirates Business Class Lounge, which I'll show you in a minute. But before we do that, I thought I would really quickly talk about the check-in process, which was extremely easy. You know, you know, checking in our luggage, our bags, and even security checks, all of that was so easily done. Of course, with it being the business class, you get fast tracks, but honestly, I didn't find the, the airport too busy anywhere. I feel like even the economy class wasn't too bad, at least for the time that we arrived, but it was a really nice process. Fantastic staff members working for Emirates. And yeah, the airport is lovely. One of my favorite airports here at Dubai International Airport. And we're gonna go into the lounge now and I'll show you what they have available. Let's go. This is where we've decided to sit. They've got a variety of different seats and tables at the lounge. Most of them look exactly like the ones that we've chosen. There's two over here. In front of us, we have the time and not much else actually. So quite nice, feels a bit more private than some of the other ones. The lounge actually seems rather busy today. But yeah, it's a very nice open space as you can see light shining through from the outside and you can see the planes and let's go and have a look at some of the food that they offer so this section here says middle eastern and western food they've got some arabic breads some plain bread uh austrian roll baguettes some chocolate chip muffins here there looks to be a selection of salads there's roasted chicken breast green peas and tomato salad um, a kale and salmon salad and then here are the hot foods from my understanding so some chicken by the looks of it some pasta the chicken looks really delicious i might have to take some of that we have some potatoes over here i think a little potato salad here there's some yogurts some smoked salmon that also looks lovely um sauces walnuts etc so some cheeses as well a little fruit salad selection i think there's also some sandwiches here which is nice this is a grilled vegetable and mozzarella salad so it's vegetarian also a beef brisket and kale wrap it says and you can get them here so yeah pretty nice selection so far over here we've got what looks to be some like a beef stew potentially with some mashed potato on the side so yeah these are the hot options that we've seen so far of course there's a selection of alcoholic beverages as well if you wish to get them and yeah the lounge is huge so so far we've checked out the middle eastern and western selection over there you can of course also see all the flights and your gate numbers etc on the screens but as we continue i'm noticing a place that says dessert so i presume that's what we can get over there there you go this is the dessert section but before we get to that i've just noticed this so this board over here gives you all the information you need. There's a quiet lounge area which is on our way. There's a <laughs> champagne lounge, Lord have all the mercy. Smoking lounge, so if you are a smoker, then that's probably where you want to be. If you've got children, there's a children's playroom area. Uh, there's toilets, desserts, Asian cuisine, international cuisine. So these two cuisines we haven't checked out quite yet. We will do in a bit, but before that, let me quickly show you the dessert. So they have, oh my God, they have a lot. Cappuccino cake, that sounds delicious. Might have to get that so many different kinds oh my god red velvet cheesecake honestly if you're a sweets person you're gonna enjoy this lounge a lot so loads of option also over there there's a little ice cream selection as well which looks really nice hello um yeah they seem to have a variety of different ice cream flavors over here mango yep. sorbet mango sorbet raspberry sorbet mm -hmm. pistachio vanilla chocolate and strawberry nice chocolate is probably my, my personal favorite okay so yeah i have one yeah, why not? Let's take one. Thank you so much. Which one? Let's go for one chocolate one if okay. that's all right. In Thank which you. cone would you like to have it? Oh, there's a, there's differences for cones as well. Sugar cone and this normal cone. Let's do a sugar cone. Let's okay. do sugar cone. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Thank okay. you so much. There you go. Thank you. You're oh, welcome. this Cheers. is lovely. Amazing. We've got our dessert already and it's a lovely, lovely cone by a phenomenal staff member working here at the Emirates Business Lounge. Let's try a little bit of the ice cream. It's really good, really lovely chocolate ice cream. Leave a comment down below and let me know if you were me right now, which of the flavors you would have chosen. I'm very much chocolate. Or if they had coffee, I would have definitely gone for a coffee flavored ice cream. I like vanilla as well, quite basic. Anyway, carrying on with the desserts. Here they've got some uh, pistachio uh, desserts, I suppose. Some cashew nuts, etc. Very nice. And honestly, we haven't stopped yet. There's a lot, oh my God, there's just Nutella chilling here. Caramel sauce as well. A variety of different sauces there's blueberry cambry compote 
chocolate sauce, obviously that would be a bit different to the Nutella which has hazelnut in it. You can get them with waffles that they have ready over there, some chocolate drops and different things and bits and bobs that you can use to put on your waffle if you wish to, some marshmallows even. I mean there is a lot. I'm filming this during Diwali so happy Diwali to any of my viewers and then I, be I believe it's the exact same thing on the other side so what we saw on the first side literally as you can see here they've replicated the same so that if it's very busy the lounge then on both sides people can come and collect exactly whatever they need we are carrying on now with our journey in the Emirates business lounge in Dubai so that's the dessert section over there that we just saw as we keep going actually I'm noticing that it's starting to get a little bit quieter I think most people just see that first area of food and kind of chill over there but there is loads more to see so we have now come to the Asian section and I love Asian food so I'm really looking forward to seeing what they have going on over here initially I'm just seeing a lot of like I suppose starters so with some cheeses sandwiches very similar to what we saw earlier I guess the starters are the same no matter which of these sections you go to but they've got some this is this looks amazing some achari chicken with potato salad these all seem to be very much vegetarian and perhaps even vegan friendly so that's a bonus for any of my vegetarian and vegan viewers watching we have a beef with potato and mixed bean salad of course this is not vegetarian there's beef in it some quinoa salad some wok fried green beans spicy korean cucumber salad thai style prawn salad i mean there is a lot some hummus of course with there being an asian section gotta have some hummus there's some mixed olives a frika salad a hara potato tabula really enjoy tabula um, and yeah a lot of nice starters and then over here we will have the hot selection so let's start with this one this is a coriander mint writer looks delicious they've got some regular white bread by the looks of it over there um, I'm not sure what this is but this looks delicious some chutneys over here if you want to put on your food a few different um, I guess stews and whatnot this looks to be some kind of beef stew with some rice that you can get there's some noodles over here as well I mean everything smells delicious as well by the way and then of course you've got your selection of drinks some water some soft drinks as well as some alcoholic beverages marvelous well that was the Asian section now I think we've got one more section to see which is the international but I wanted to show you again the beautiful design of this Emirates business lounge in Dubai International Airport it looks wonderful and there are so many more spaces here we really should have come here we kind of just settled at the start like most people seem to do but this place is huge and of course with Emirates being of course you know for the UAE Dubai it's like it's, it's main uh, home of course it's gonna be one of the biggest lounges I've ever been to I'm seeing the signs here that says we have to keep going forward for the international cuisine smoking lounge is also there toilets uh, and showers are on the left uh, right hand side sorry children's playroom is also on the right hand side so is the champagne lounge and for the gents toilets and showers you have to go forward so I'm gonna keep going forward first on the way there I thought I'd show you some of the artworks they've got going on here very much traditional art pieces from the UAE and Dubai which is lovely now here on my left you can see the toilets and showers for the gents um, so it's nice that you do have the option to also take a shower if you wish to of course that's generally tends to be what it what it's like for business lounges and then I, I can't believe how big this place is I feel like it's almost the whole length of the airport really this terminal at least so how fun there's some art pieces to do with London here as well considering we're off to London today this is a flight from Dubai to London that's quite nice to see and then oh what's on the left I guess this goes back to the toilets for the gents and this must be the last section of this lounge and look at that it says 36 lounges around the world Emirates Dubai airports connecting the world 10 years of Emirates worldwide lounges and I'm pretty sure what I'm seeing there must be the international food section there you go yeah there's a little sign that says that so we're starting from the left here these are some of the drinks of course they seem to have some of those sandwiches and breads again just like they did on the first one that we saw and then here we get to the hot food so let's have a look seems to be some creamy mashed potato and some kind of veal uh, stew over here and then here we've got a lamb stew oh that looks so good very nice um, next to it we've got some Asian fried beef with cashew nuts as well as jasmine rice so again don't forget this is an international cuisine so it's a variety of different food items from around the world Spanish fish stew so there you go we've just jumped from Asia to Spain which is lovely there's a vegetable chow mein over here for all you vegetarians out there that looks delicious and then some vegan stuff this is a vegan uh, I guess pasta dish with some rice 
um, some more chutneys here if you want to get them and they've got some I think these are called kachoris actually I'll have to try one as well as some panis um, oh, that looks really delicious actually and then a chicken tikka biryani Ooh, this is beautiful that's this is probably my favorite thing I've seen so far I love a nice biryani and then yeah again a selection of different salads from around the world some smoked salmon that's also good but yeah all in all very very good lounge in terms of the food items a big huge selection of food I actually don't even know what I'm gonna get I'm gonna try and pick a couple of things from the different sections I definitely want to try and get that biryani uh, from the international area that looked amazing I also want to try maybe a couple of other things from the other previous ones that we saw I've already had a bit of an ice cream as well by the way don't forget I started with my dessert I'm also very aware that they're gonna be serving us food on the flight too and normally Emirates food is very very nice so I'm gonna be eating a lot that's generally what it's like when you fly business class but let's go and grab some things and I'll show you what I get so I've got my food selection over here I went for the chicken biryani from the international area some of these I think they're called kachoris just because I really want to try them this was a lamb stew from the Middle Eastern section with some rice and I've also got um, some chicken and rice also from the Middle Eastern area so I feel like quite a lot of you know traditionally Middle Eastern rice and and stew dishes and of course I've got my bottle of Evian so we're gonna try them out and I'll let you know how I feel about them well food was good honestly every single thing that I had on my plate I enjoyed I think my favorite was either the lamb stew which was delicious it came with some beans in it and the chicken biryani of course it had a bit of a spiciness level to it a bit of a cake but I really enjoyed it and those kabuchis were also really nice actually surprisingly nice um, it just had some like vegetables in there with spices and it did have a bit of a kick to it as well but I really enjoyed it so everything that I had I would recommend we are now slowly but surely making our way towards the gate because our flight should be boarding soon our gate is gate number B17 to go to London's Heathrow apparently it's only about a minute away from the business lounge and on the way you can also spot the Emirates first class lounge which I've never flown first class with Emirates it's my hope to one day be able to have enough miles because honestly whenever I fly business class or even premium economy I normally try to just use miles I never pay out front for it so there you go one day hopefully Yes, please. Thank you. Yeah. Chill up. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Enjoy it, madam. Thank you so much. Thank you. So we've got our apple juice here. You can have a variety of different drinks. As you guys know, I'm a big uh, apple juice lover. So whenever there's apple juice, I'm going to go for apple juice. We are in our seats. The seats in Emirates Business Class are extremely comfortable. I do actually already have a video if you want to check that one out. Flying from London to Dubai that I filmed last year. So I'll leave the link to that one below. It's obviously going to be a very similar experience. You'll just get to see the lounge in London, which is also lovely. A bit smaller than the one in Dubai that I just showed you though. And the way the cabins work as well, they've got two in the middle and then two on each side. But it's like different so where I'm sitting for instance and I'll try and show this to you a little bit later on when I can stand up and show you all the other seats but on my left hand side I've got the table I've got the little iPad I've got the huge screens that they have here in Emirates Airlines um, some little charging areas over here a little mini bar with some drinks which is awesome um, all the little stuff buttons for the seat which obviously does turn into a little flat out bed which is very comfortable but then the layout of the other ones is that for instance the one next to me has the um, table on the right hand side then they're kind of on the aisle whereas the ones in front of me are in the middle with the tables on the other side and it's like it's one in a row if that makes any sense I'll try and like I said show this to you later on it doesn't really matter um, where you sit if you're a solo traveler you might want to be a bit more like cozy inside and it's the same if you have a window seat as well I'm traveling with my mom at the moment so it's a little bit different for us we obviously want to be together otherwise if I was traveling on my own I would probably try and choose a seat that is right by, by the window with the table on my side to feel very cozy although those can be quite claustrophobic as well for some people so bear that in mind the layout you can find out on the Emirates Airlines 
Airlines website. But um, yeah, I've got my apple juice here now, which I was kindly given. Cheers to you. Cheers to a lovely, happy flight back to London. Anyway, before we take off, I thought I would show you a little bit of what the leg room, etc. is like. So this is as the seats are before I've done anything to it. You can see how much of a leg room we have. This little space where you can put your legs once you've, you know, fully flattered out the bed. I've put my back back there for now. You do get given a pillow, which is quite a nice size. You've got a duvet as well, which I've currently put there. If you take this off, then you can kind of see what it's like. You can see another person over there. It's very private still, making it very comfortable for you, whether you're a solo traveler or you're here with your family. You've already seen the bar area over there. This is the control that you will need for your TV. You can also play loads of games. The entertainment system in Emirates Airlines is fantastic, no matter which cabin you're flying with. And yeah, that's more to say. This is where the table will come from. And then these are the aisles. Also, I do enjoy the added bonus of just some lovely, lovely purple flowers there, just to make this cabin look nicer. We've just been given the lovely warm towels as well, which is a towel service. It just makes you feel relaxed and nice. They've also just given us the Emirates Business Class menus for the meal that they're going to be serving this evening. It is a 4.05 p.m. flight. That's 16.05, so I think we're just going to be getting dinner and maybe some kind of breakfast uh, when we get closer to London. So, for the appetizer, we've got a creamy green pea soup, traditional Arabic meza, which I have had before, it's delicious, and some salmon, main course pan fried lamb loin, roasted chicken, Arabic spiced butter prawns. Ooh. That looks delicious. And then a barbecue chicken sandwich. That's the lunch. Dessert would be banana walnut cake, coconut pineapple mousse cake, seasonal fruit, uh, cheese board, and some fine luxury chocolate. And then we also have a little wine menu, which I'm not sure if I'm going to get a wine, but I thought I would show it to you in the vlog in case you're interested. Takeoff was nice and smooth. We've been in the air for about half an hour at this point. The entire flight should take just over seven hours, I believe, which I think is a pretty decent amount of time to enjoy the business class here on Emirates Airlines. But um, not long after takeoff, a lovely cabin crew member came and asked if we wanted to have mattresses basically um, on our seats, ready for when we want to sleep later on. And both me and my mom decided to say yes, and they just set it up for us. It looks very nice, very comfortable, and trust me, even though the seat was already comfortable before they put the mattress on, with the mattress it suddenly becomes even more comfortable. It's obviously softer, you can see it here behind me, and once we uh, flatten out the bed fully then it becomes extremely comfortable. So I'll definitely be sleeping for a couple of hours as well. Um, I think I'm just going to wait until they serve the food. Maybe I'll sleep afterwards for a little bit, but also I want to show you some of the entertainment. Before we do that though, I obviously need my earphones, headphones that they provide you with. You can see the Emirates Airlines logos on them. They come in these plastic bags. Obviously you can't keep them. But yeah, they're, they're pretty good um, noise cancelling earphones. I have used them before. I'm gonna use them later on as well. They also do provide you with socks and eye shades. So there you go. If you want some, I guess, compressor socks, I think that's what they're called, you can use those. And then if you don't like any light when you're sleeping, I I can sleep anywhere, it doesn't really bother me, but if you do need them, they do provide you with them. This is the eye mask, it's got the little Emirates logo embroidered over there. It feels very nice and comfortable and soft if you wish to use it. And then these are the tops. They're brown, again, very nice and soft, kind of, you know, go with the same vibe, theming, colour scheme of Emirates Airlines with all the browns and the golds, which I absolutely love. So. There you go, these I'm going to probably take home with me. But whilst we're waiting for food, which by the way we just ordered, a lovely crew member came again and asked for our orders, I thought I would use this to show you some of the entertainment that they've got going on on this pretty big screen here in front of me. So there are two ways for you to control the screen. You can either use this little, I guess, control machine here, which also would be great if you want to play a game. But also it is touch screen as well, so if you want to, you can use your fingers to go wherever you want to. I want to show you some of the movies they've got going on and sorry about the little flicker on screen. Oh, there's some just added ones. And honestly, like I said before, the entertainment system at Emirates from my experience before in all the cabins is fantastic. They've got literally so many films and TV shows and games available for you that 
you're just going to be overwhelmed. So as you can see, there's a lot going on here. They've got some Arabic films as well, if you want some Bollywood, Pakistan, some even some Persian ones. And if you didn't know, um, I speak Persian, so that's really cool to see. Um, loads going on, even some closed caption films, which I love. It's good that they're accessible. Obviously, with me being a big Disney fan, I think I'm going to go into the Disney classics in a second. But as you can see, they also have a holiday season section, documentaries, Wizarding World. They literally have every single Harry Potter movie on here, including the um, Fantastic Beast series as well, Star Wars, etc. Even Marvel. But we're going to go into Disney and see what kind of Disney films they've got. So Haunted Mansion, which I haven't actually seen yet, I might check it out. It came out not so long ago. They've got Elemental, The Little Mermaid. It looks like they're literally going from the latest releases on the left to, I guess, all the way back to who knows when. I mean, there's a lot going on here, Inside Out. One of my favorite movies, wreck -It Ralph, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. There is a lot, there's everything. I feel like you've basically almost got the whole of Disney Plus on the aircraft with you. It is phenomenal. Look at that. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's, it's just going. It's continuously going. Never ending. Wow. In terms of TV shows, I'm just going to do it touch screen now because it's going to be a bit, little bit quicker whilst I'm filming. They've got some BBC shows. As you can see, if you click on it, you can see the variety of selections they've got going on here. And that's not it. There's literally more and more. Just want to give you a little bit of a glimpse of what they do have available, though. There's some for kids, for children, preschool kids, documentaries. Again, some Christmas stuff because I'm filming this in November 2023 and even some in a few different languages. You can get some live TV, you can get some podcasts, some music. Let's have a look at the music as well, out of curiosity, so there you go. Some recent releases, looks to be some Taylor Swift stuff, essential albums, classical, some of the now uh, music, albums, dance, jazz. I mean, there is a lot. You're not gonna get bored on an Emirates airline flight. And then if you go to home, from there you've got other options as well so obviously we just checked out some of the entertainment options there's some communications as well as information if we go to information which is i we can find out some info about today's flights uh, just what it's like to fly with emirates discovering dubai if you have any help they can help you hear what's on headlines etc and then with c c is for communications um, passenger survey seat to seat so if there's a few of you flying uh, in the same aircraft then you can do that and information about the wi-fi as well which hopefully i'm gonna try out and see if it works or not so lunch slash dinner should be served within the next half an hour or so i went for the lamb you'll see it i'm looking forward to it even though i'm kind of full already from the food that we ate in the lounge i've got my earphones on now i think i'm just going to spend the next half an hour as we wait for food clicking through the entertainment system see if there's anything i want to watch these are very good earphones by the way like very much noise cancelling this is why i have to take them off when i'm talking to you because i can't even hear myself <laughs> so yeah feeling very lucky very happy to be here um i hope it's going to be a lovely next six and a half hours at this point and yeah after dinner i think i'm going to sleep for a bit and then i'll show you the lounge before some more entertainment hopefully let's go i am also gonna lean back my seat just a little bit not gonna put it fully flat yet but i think whilst i'm watching tv and waiting for food it'd be nice to just be able to lean back a little bit look at that look at that honestly so lovely so lucky and i'm just gonna pour myself a little bit of water as well which i was lucky enough to be able to get from my little mini bar literally right next to my seat over here i am a very happy girl at the moment as a little pre-starter we just had an option of either some nuts or some olives or both i decided to just go for some nuts because i know i'm going to be eating quite a lot anyway my apple juice has arrived as well and i want you to leave a comment down below and guess what movie i'm about to watch you've got i want to say five seconds five four three two one you know it's a pixar one a little bit of a hint a little bit closer to what i'm actually watching let's see if you can guess it there you go there you go i'm watching turning red i love this movie it came out last year and i feel like it's quite underrated i haven't watched it too many times i think i've only watched it about twice so it'll be nice to give it another go 20 minutes later so still watching turning red loving it i forgot how much i enjoy this beautiful pixar film but food has just arrived and this is my starter i went for the traditional arabic meze so we've got i think some hummus here some i'm not actually sure what the rest of them are some dolmas perhaps i've had these before and a few other things with some arabic bread uh, there's a side salad, some butter, some olive oil, comes in this little cute bottle. Um, these are the uh, salt and pepper, some water, of course, you've got your cutlery over here as well. And then they came with some extra bread, 
and they had a variety of different bread, brown bread, white bread, or garlic bread, and I decided to go for the garlic bread, and the smell is delicious. I look at that. It's almost like a little garlic bread roll. Looks beautiful, loving turning red. Looking forward to trying all this out. My lamb dish has arrived now, and it smells delicious. It smells divine. I genuinely cannot wait to try this. Um, even though I am fairly full, I'm pretty sure I can hopefully enjoy this. There's some potatoes, some roast potatoes, some steamed carrots, some broccolis, and yeah, some juice to go with the lamb. So very much looking forward to this. I wish you guys could smell this because it smells divine. So for my dessert, I decided to just go for some of the luxury chocolates that they had on the menu because nothing else really appealed to me. And they gave me three of these Emirates luxury chocolate boxes. Uh, which I'm probably just going to take home. So, I have finished my three-course meal. I only really had two courses, to be fair. Um, and also, quite conveniently, Turning Red also just finished. I really enjoyed it. Such a good film. Leave a comment down below, let me know if you've seen it. It came out last year, so some of you may not have seen it yet. And if you have, do you like it? It's not like one of my favourite Pixar's, but I do think it's one of the better Pixar's that has come out recently, personally. I know some people didn't like it, and that's valid as well. But that's not why you're here, you're here for the food and Emirates Airlines and I really enjoyed the food, I thought the food was delicious. Um, the Arabic meze I had had before, it's quite a typical thing for them to have on the menu no matter where you're flying with Emirates Airlines. Um, that was really delicious, really enjoyed it, I enjoyed the little dolmes, the hummus was nice, everything, I tried a little bit of everything and all of them were nice, the garlic bread was phenomenal. Probably one of my favourite things that I have had so far on this flight. Really delicious, especially if you enjoy your garlic bread. Um, then for my main course, I went for the lamb option, which you guys saw. It was delicious. As soon as they brought it to my table, I could smell it. And I knew that it was going to be good, and it was good. Quality food, really delicious. The lamb was very nice. The tender, it had such good, you know, spices to it. It was very delicious. And then the roast potatoes around it, really nice as well. Really good lamb. Very good lamb, considering we're in literally an airplane at the moment. And then for my dessert, as you guys saw, I just asked for some chocolates, luxury chocolates, which I haven't tried any of. I'm just going to take home with me. However, um, whilst we're here, I thought I would also show you some of the stuff that my mum got, because my mum ordered very different things to what I did. So my mum went for the salmon, for a starter, and it looked really good, and she said it was really nice as well. She ate most of it. Um, that salmon probably would have been what I would have gotten as a second choice if I didn't go for the Arabic meze. For the main course, my mum went for the prawns. It was like something like buttered prawns with white rice and that was also something that I was army and I about getting. My mum really enjoyed it but um, she couldn't finish all of it so she gave some of it to me and I got to try some of her prawns as well. As much as I loved the lamb, I have to say I feel like the buttered prawns with the rice was even better. So two fantastic options. If you're into your prawns, get the buttered prawns. I loved it. And then for her dessert, my mum went for some kind of banana and chocolate tea cake and she finished, like she demolished it. My mum's more of a sweet kind of person, so she loved the dessert selection. And yeah, there you go. This is my little food review of Emirates <laughs> Business Class Dubai to London. And now I think I'm gonna go and show you the lounge area. So very conveniently, your table just slides back into the little handlebar here. And just like that, I am gonna leave my seat and head over to the lounge. So there you go, this is the lounge area. Um, you can see some information about the flight over here, ground speed, um, true airspeed, all the good stuff that you wanna know about the flight that you're on. Uh, in the lounge you can get a variety of different snacks throughout the flight. Basically as long as the seatbelt sign is off, then you can come here, there seems to be some fruits, some nuts, um, you can actually see the lounge by its menu here. You can see they have some more desserts as well, some baklava, some pistachio, strawberry cheesecake, things like that. These are some of the cakes they've got going on here. More alcoholic beverages as well if you wish to. It's really nice, it's lovely. It's also a nice place to chill, like if you want to, you can see there are a couple of seats over here, even like bar type desks with mirrors. Hello. If you want to, you can just come grab a drink and chill with somebody else, chat if you want to, especially if you're not, you know, both sat next to each other. If you just want to catch up, then you definitely can do so. So there you go. That is the lounge. It was a little bit busy right now. There was a couple of people just chilling there, so I didn't want to film too much, but I hope you got a good glimpse of it. If you want to see a better understanding of it, I would highly recommend checking out my other vlog that I have of the exact same flight from London to Dubai. It might be of interest as well from about a year ago, like I said. But um, yeah, business cabin doesn't seem too busy either. It's not empty by any means, but there are a couple of empty seats. So in my row, 
I'm currently sat in the row of the seat right next to mine because I came from the wrong side. I'm going to head back to my own seat over there in a second because I think I'm just going to sleep now. I've, I'm full, I'm happy, I've watched the film um, and we've still got about four and a half hours to go so I think I'll get a cash some, some sleep even though it's a weird time to sleep but when you've got a flatbread mid-air, you might as well utilize it, right? Before I go for a little nap though and lay my bed slash seat fully flat with this lovely mattress on top of it, I wanted to charge my phone and again, as I showed you earlier, I think they do have a USB plug right next to your seat which you can use to charge it and thankfully it works. So I am happy. I feel like I definitely needed to charge my battery a little bit. It's on 34% at the moment. Whilst we're on the subject of phones, by the way, I did mention the Wi-Fi earlier and you can either purchase some Wi-Fi or if you've got some miles for Emirates Airlines then you can use a miles to get some Wi-Fi. Um, there's a couple of different, I guess, packages that you can get. One is only for a few hours, one's for the entire duration of the flight. Uh, the one that I got is for the entire duration of the flight and if you don't use your miles it's going to be $16, which I thought was alright. Um, however, the internet isn't the best, I have to say. The Wi-Fi, whilst it worked a little bit for a little while, it kind of just comes and goes, so I wouldn't bet on it working, especially with the one that I got, which said in the package deal that you, with that you should technically be able to do anything. You should be able to do video calls if you want to. You should be able to go on YouTube and all that stuff. Um, none of that's been possible. Not that I've been wanting to video call anybody, but I, want, I did want to go just to check my YouTube channel for a little bit, and I couldn't even go onto my studio. Um, even Instagram, a lot of the posts just aren't loading. It comes and goes, like I said, and it's not a massive problem. I don't need the Wi-Fi. I just really want to test it out to see what it's like. And unfortunately, it's the only thing that's let me down a little bit on this flight. Not going to bother me personally, but considering everything's been so fantastic, it would have been nice if the Wi-Fi worked as well. So that's a bit of a shame. It might just be this particular flight that's you know had quite um, weak Wi-Fi maybe on other Emirates airline flights the Wi-Fi might be better but I have to be honest I've traveled with Emirates Airlines quite a few times now and the Wi-Fi has never been too good so that's maybe one thing they need to improve on and with that it is time to sit on this lovely seat and use this button to turn this phenomenal already comfortable seat into a flat out bed so let's do it The last piece of the puzzle. I'm basically in bed. Good night. <laughs> I actually can't believe how comfortable this feels. I've got the duvet, the pillow. I feel very cozy. I don't think I'll ever wake up again from this. <laughs> All jokes and everything aside, this is fantastic. This is so comfortable. It's like I said, very cozy. We've got about three hours and fifty minutes left of the flight. I don't actually want to sleep for the entirety of the rest of the flight. I'm probably going to try and nap for a couple of hours. I'm not even really that tired or anything. I just want to enjoy the novelty, really. And one thing I like to do as well, and I would recommend you as well, if you do fly business class or upper class, whatever kind of, um, I guess, class or cabin level that allows you to have a flat bed, um, is to uh, basically close your seat belts over yourself, over the duvet. Because if you do that, if you do end up falling asleep and for some reason the seatbelt sign comes on, um, cabin crew won't have to wake you up to let you know that you have to put your seatbelt back on if that makes sense. So if you want to get some nice decent sleep without worrying about it, make sure that your seatbelt being, you know, um, I guess closed off seatbelt. What do you do with seatbelts? Close your seatbelts, right? Open and close. Yes, make sure that um, everyone can see that your seatbelt is closed. So just put it over your duvet so that, you know, it just makes the cabin crew's life easier and it means that you're not going to be woken up. Yeah, this is it. This is me. My mom is still watching a film. I think she's on her second film now. Like I said, I may wake up a bit later and watch another film. There's so many options to choose from. I might even play a game or two. We will see. I'm sure there'll be some food as well coming up just before we land. So who knows how I'm going to be able to manage that. But with that being said, I will see you in about an hour. Literally, as soon as I said that, they turned the lights off as well as if on cue. But I just missed out on filming on camera for you. But there you go. I love it. I love the twinkling stars. It's so extra on Emirates Airlines. So this basically means that it very much is time for a little bit of a rest. So I will see you in an hour. Hello. I hope you guys can hear me. 
it's been a couple of hours since I started this nap journey. I slept quite long. I think I slept longer than I wanted to. We should be landing in the next 50 minutes, so less than an hour really to go. Um, I listened to some Phantom of the Opera music because one awesome thing actually that I didn't even realize is that with this little game control slash remote control that you have next to your seat, um, you can watch films on it, you can do everything on here. It's a smaller screen obviously, but if you're lying down and if it's hard to actually see the main screen over there, then you can just use this and do stuff on there. And so I didn't watch a film, I just scrolled through the music, which the music list is extensive. They even had some Westlife songs, loads of pop, loads of rock music, some of the latest releases, some new UK stuff. I mean, there was just a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And I was army and eyeing about what to listen to. I just really wanted something relaxing. So initially I thought about just listening to some classical music because that's something that I like to do. But then I saw they had a musical section and I'm a big musical fan. So. Um, yeah, decided to just listen to Phantom of the Opera. I spent the past two hours literally just going through the Phantom of the Opera original soundtrack. I think about twice. Um, and it was really, really, really lovely. Very relaxing. <laughs> yeah, that was my life. Um, I'm going to get up now, go and wash my face and all that. And then get ready for, I think, some last snacks before we hopefully land safely in London. Now listen, some of you guys might not want to see this. So I'll give you three seconds to go. But if you're interested in seeing what the toilet looks like, on Emirates Business Class, then there you go. We are here. <laughs> I mean, look, some people find it interesting, so I thought I would quickly show it to you. It's quite small, if you before you've got a sink. You have some amenities, actually. There's a, I think a hand cream here, some toothbrush, toothpaste, etc. Um, you can shave here if you wish to, some sanitary napkins, some towels as well. But when you wash your hands, they even have a couple of little fragrances that you can put. I think they're, they're meant to all be Bulgari. Let me check the other one as well. So yeah, if you want to freshen up and if you don't have your own fragrances, then they have some available for you in the toilet cubicles, which is nice. Um, behind me you will find literally just the toilet, which I've closed down now, but there you go. thought some of you guys might be interested. Let's get back to our seats. Well, I'm back in my seat, a little bit refreshed. I'm so glad I got that, to have that nap, actually. I didn't expect to have it. But it was quite a nice one, and Phantom of the Opera was a great <laughs> music to my app. But um, I think I must have missed the. In fact, I did miss. I checked with my mum the little snacks. Um, I guess situation coming just before landing as well. I think it must have happened about half an hour before I woke up. Um, I did check with my mum, and they, basically she said it was very similar to what they served in the lounge. So little mini sandwiches, like little canapes, or little fruit cupcakes, things like that. Just snacks, like an afternoon type snack, even though it's not really afternoon time, it's close to evening with some tea and coffee. So, in a way, I'm actually kind of glad I missed it because I feel like if I was awake, I would have forced myself to just try some of that because I wanted to let you guys know what it's like, despite being extremely full. So, you guys can imagine what it's like. My mom didn't get some either, she was quite full as well. So she did see people going around and actually only asking people that were awake. So there were loads of people that were sleeping at the time. And if they were sleeping, they didn't wake them up just to give them these coffees and little snacks. Uh, but if they were awake, then they would ask them. So that's just uh, for your information. We've got about half an hour to go now until we land. And I'm looking forward to it. By the time we land in London, hopefully it should be around 7.50 p.m. So it is evening time, it's going to be dark, it's going to be cold, it's going to be so strange after like two weeks in Dubai in the heat, but I'm, I'm excited. The weather forecast in London is a temperature of 3 degrees Celsius with um, um, scattered clouds in the area. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been a pleasure having you aboard with us. And we have the entire crew, thank you for choosing Emirates and we wish you a pleasant stay in London. Have a good evening.
And just like that, I am back in London. But before I end this vlog, I thought I would share my final thoughts on Emirates business class, specifically from Dubai to London. I enjoy the flight. I mean, I always enjoy flying Emirates. I feel like they're one of the best airlines worldwide. It's quite a well-known fact, to be fair. And I always have a good time flying with them, whether it's economy, premium, or business class. I feel like it's just a pleasant, enjoyable experience. The business class seats were very comfortable. I love the entertainment in particular on Emirates Airlines. I'm pretty sure Emirates Airlines has the most extensive entertainment of all the airlines out there because there are just way too many films to watch, way too many TV shows, music, games, just so many things. So that's definitely one of the pros of Emirates Airlines and it's just a shame that you don't have enough time to make the most of it. I watched one film, my mom ended up watching I think three and a half films, so she made the most of the entertainment. I ended up sleeping for a little bit because I also wanted to make the most of the really comfortable bed. The food was delicious, again I always find the food on Emirates Airlines really really nice. Emirates Airlines is known to give out some very fun Bulgari amenity kits on their business classes and I didn't realize until this most recent flight that they only really give them out on night flights. So the flight that we were on from Dubai to London was a day flight, a daytime flight. It took off in, in Dubai at I think it was around 4 p.m., 4, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, 16 o'clock if you will. So it's considered a daytime flight and it landed in London at something something like 8 p.m. So it wasn't an overnight flight. Because of that, we didn't get the amenity kit. So that's just something to bear in mind. For me, not a problem whatsoever. I've already got quite a few of these to be fair but if you are really looking forward to this or if it's something that you really want when booking an Emirates Airlines business class then make sure you don't book a daytime flight because you're not going to get one for it but even if you don't get one it's again not a problem whatsoever because most of the things that they give you in there you can find in the toilets which is why you should have watched the toilet section of this little video in case you are wondering by the way these are some of the things that you get in the amenity kit so this is very much an unused one but um, there you go, like hand creams and things like that you can find in the toilets uh, on in the business cabin. So with that being said, I'm extremely tired. I'm going to go to sleep. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was quite informative. I hope you had fun following my journey. Um, thank you so much. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever flown with Emirates Airlines, whether it's been with economy, business premium economy or first class, which is something that I would love to do one day. Um, hopefully one day I'll have enough points to be able to do that. But with that being said, I am going to love you and leave you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.